Banks say they are struggling since the Monetary Policy Committee sitting at Bank of Uganda set the benchmark lending rate at its lowest level ever of 9%. That was back in February. The rate cut was done with the aim of triggering economic activity. But commercial banks say the spark in the economy is yet to be realized and the key benchmark lending rate is stretching their operations. There has been pressure with uh, interest rates coming off as quickly as they have. And also we're seeing that the cost of doing business is not coming down as quickly. So you still have a very high cost base. You have pressure on revenue coming from rates coming off. And uh, that is putting some strain on banks to begin to think differently. Ugandan bankers say most businesses are not seeing the targeted positive outlook in the economy. And this is why the low lending rates have not translated into a rise in credit growth, especially for the private sector. Many of the manufacturing businesses, the consumer-based businesses, have seen declines year on year in, in demand. So they're obviously going to wait on the sidelines until they see that demand pick up and they will then start to add capacity. However, according to Stan Big Bank, there has been some growth in personal borrowing, largely attributed to recent loan pricing. The reduction in the central bank rate has forced banks to bring down the cost of personal loans from 30% to about 17%. The coming of new players and financial technologies like mobile money now requires commercial banks to think differently about how they engage with clients. They say they are now looking to diversify their revenue by adopting more efficient strategies to protect their earnings. Most financial institutions are targeting the planned oil and gas developments in Uganda. They believe investing in local content in that sector will be the key to rejuvenating the economy. If we can get this, go over the hump of this final investment decision on oil and gas, which is something that we expect in quarter three, uh, to me that will start to open up a significant amount of foreign direct investment, you know, almost 15 billion, that will start to become a stimulus for growth for 2019 and 2020. Uganda plans to build a central processing facility, an oil refinery and an oil evacuation pipeline project to run from the western oil district of Hoima to the Tanga port in Tanzania. The government hopes the proposed developments will be the key to unlocking the country's economy. Michael Balekesi Kampala, Uganda.